Welcome at forexistrading.com. Today is 29th December 2010. It's 20 minutes after 4 a.m. in the morning Eastern Standard Time. Let's take a look at S&P 500 four hour chart. Looks like the uh, index is continuing its little uh, run to the uh, upside. So market really um, wouldn't take any breath, retracement, no sellers coming in the market, nobody's taking bigger profits. And, and this situation is um, really similar to the uh, last wave that occurred. Uh, we see medium and small candles here, very small candles. So uh, this is no great demand. It, it wouldn't be the... Uh, best moment to come into the market right now because of the uh, demand doesn't really show us it's very strong at the moment but it's a good opportunity to keep the uh, long positions you are already having at the market so um, uh, for a few days i'm saying please be cautious in january especially for some kind of bigger retracements i mean um, just to be impartial if some important sellers will come at the market and stay at this S&P 500 market please be cautious not to enter long positions uh, too soon let's take a look at the uh, currencies at 4 hour chart we see euro from this dome pattern used to go to the upside and very strong fear move but and um, unfortunately i was saying yesterday that if pound will accelerate to the downside it will bring the euro dollar to the lower levels as well and that's what really happened pound came back to its natural uh, medium and big dropping down trend and euro dollar even though it's um, coming to the uh, upside most of the time when a pound is neutral uh, or pound is growing the uh, euro showing it has demand at this market but really pound is driving this currency to the lower level um, every time it goes down so let's take a look at the uh, 30 minute chart we see this situation uh, here at 30 minute chart yesterday I was saying that uh, if pound would be growing this uh, rectangle here would probably give us some continuation breakout to the upside and might be continued but I always also said that it is um, a strong reason to believe that if pound will go to the downside like it happened it will bring euro dollar to lower levels and that's what really happened pound shoot up in the sky for a few moments came back to lower levels driving euro dollar uh, lower and lower so right now we are looking at pound which is more interesting than euro dollar for me at this particular moment uh, we might see another continuation to the downside even though this rectangle here this pattern isn't so cute for market entering so if some uh, strong participants will enter in the uh, short side of the market will will the uh, sellout uh, continue strongly I might be interested in coming um, to the uh, short side of the market and the euro dollar might go short uh, as well so it might be dropping down we'll see about that if it will be staying at some particular levels at this support resistance zone or if it's gonna uh, go drop down with the pound of course be cautious with long positions because every time pound will hit some um, new highs um, all, or will move in this comfortable zone as you see this zone right here feels to be comfortable for pound this zone and it might be coming back to the uh, downside from this those highs when it's uh, reaching those levels so um, uh, I was talking yesterday also about the gold that we might see expect some breakout in the next few hours I was saying that in the uh, um, morning yesterday and just few hours after that we experience breakout and the uh, prices are staying at some particular higher level so we can move our stop loss at some 
um, entry market position uh, we enter and wait if the uh, market situation will push the uh, gold prices higher and higher uh, it will be the win-win uh, situation for those open position well the pattern here wasn't really the best pattern for gold that i saw and um, before uh, but it was reasonable uh, to believe that if it will be shooting up uh, it might uh, might be staying at those levels um, but please be cautious if you enter the market here please be cautious and uh, of the uh, downside because the retracement could bring gold to those comfortable levels in this beautiful big uh, blue rectangle we see here and it is a comfortable zone for supply demand and uh, equal opportunity let's say so thank you very much for uh, watching um, you can see some more training or trading example thank you very much